And welcome here to Wolf of Dubai. Happy Sunday to this Tesla live stream, guys. For all the investors out there or for people who are interested in Tesla or for people who are thinking about Tesla, this is the live stream for you every single Sunday. People go to church. We do this live streams, guys. And uh, Tesla reached $835 per share. So if you want to buy Tesla, then you need to put $835 on the table, guys. Welcome very much to this episode. And I can't wait to talk about Tesla today. Uh, as you know, I just launched uh, every Sunday my Tesla Sundays vlog where I summarize all the breaking news in a very interesting format. If you already know, maybe you already know. <laughs> Every single Sunday here on this channel, make sure to subscribe. If not, because this is a shame that you are missing my most successful series meanwhile, right? I think this series brought so many guys together here in the community and super happy that um, so many of people are liking it. And as always, let me know in the comments, where are you watching from? And I just seeing here, I just want to say hello. So we have London, we have Atlanta, we have UK, we have Barcelona. And yeah, worldwide guys, we have Mario, our member, guys, if you are interested and uh, want to have more than just these live streams or the daily vlogs, make sure to smash that join button below all my videos and live stream. This brings you to the very exclusive membership section. You have then a couple of options like uh, 101 with me or for example access to our discord chat which is unbelievable valuable there's very interesting people sharing their thoughts i also bring my network into this groups and my perspective and to whatever i think it's shareable or interesting i'm putting there into this Discord chat. So make sure to smash that join button afterwards and smash obviously the like button if you like it. This helps the channel as well. Um, and uh, before we diving in, guys, I want to say some, something uh, serious, okay? Um, a couple of days ago, something very serious happened in the US. Uh, civilian was dying because of a uh, police officer and this is absolutely an event that cannot happen what we seeing now in the streets of various cities in the US is an absolute disaster because I, I said it on my Instagram account and let me pull this off because I thought um, that the that, that, that the way that I described it in this moment, what I felt was quite um, to the point, because I think this is, this is, this are scenes that have so much anger, uncertainty, sadness that fueled into this physical nonsense violence, which is absolutely not necessary, guys. Okay. Um, I hope this is just temporary, everything should cool down because I see now on both ends, on the demonstrants as well as police forces, both heavy violence and this will, this is a loose, loose situation guys. This will not bring 
anything to more justification to more clarity or whatsoever so i hope this will will be resolved soon because i think others would call maybe this unemployment unleashed to as we know in uncertain times um there is things that can bring very much bad things to the planet okay so i think you know that's that's absolutely nonsense what is happening there and uh, therefore you know this is important my personal opinion too um, just say that as uh, you know the reach of channels and youtube channels and influencer are getting b bigger and bigger so i think this message need to be spread um and uh yeah so this to that let's talk about tesla guys and before we diving in i have something funny guys okay i have something funny uh as always uh to you know with you to break the ice with about 40 guys of you now in the live stream so i'm very much appreciating this um so i want to share with you first of all this one this is uh, uh, got my eye and attention you, you remember my back in the future and rule number one <laughs> never set it to 2020 guys okay make sure to never go back to 2020 or to go forward to 2020 that that was quite funny and the second that uh, the second thing is also quite nice it's related to tesla if you don't have a house where you have a charger then look at this how teslas are getting charged in new york just throw out your <laughs> power cord outside and connect it through the window easy as that guys okay easy as that so i think this is quite uh, quite interesting to see that <laughs> to see that as well you know even even i don't know if you can see it here i can uh, try to make it a little bit bigger but uh, the person even um, fixed the cord here on the wheel of the, of the car, okay? So nobody, nobody will uh, will take it from from them. <laughs> very very nice guys. Um, okay, so let's have a look. Uh, we want to talk about uh, what's news and therefore I will a little bit go around the agenda what I talked about in Tesla Sundays and pick one of two topics that I would like to discuss. I would like to know your question guys so it's important to smash the keyboards and let me know which questions you have so we can discuss it together. Then I want to go into the Tesla stock and a small technical analysis. You know, we are doing this every Sunday to see, you know, what was right. Did we were right uh, pretending um, the channels that Tesla is moving in? Uh, what can be the move uh, next couple of days? What is important? Uh, and so on and so forth. So very, very interesting. Um, and Elon Musk should be happy this weekend because it was sensational. And this is uh, what I I want to like to uh, go into sensational what happened with SpaceX obviously a huge milestone for Elon Musk and even some Tesla employees I have seen articles that SpaceX borrowed some Tesla force and this is uh, quite known to the Tesla or Elon Musk uh, companies that they are exchanging knowledge and engineering power so this was absolutely insane. Uh, the two astronauts, meanwhile, they docked and entered the International Space Shuttle. So it's all perfect, guys. This means that for now, before they coming back, it's absolutely insane. And therefore, uh, SpaceX could fulfill 50% already of their first transportation contract which is absolutely fantastic and i really i'm really happy that this kind of milestones are being broken especially you know and for and for, especially when when Elon musk is there and he is bringing so many um changes to the space industry that some people didn't thought it is possible but unfortunately we cannot invest into the company as of uh, shares 
except you are a verified US investors and have some connection to someone who want to sell the shares because otherwise um, there is no opportunity to get shares just over some portals. There are special pro portals, guys, where you can register and if someone wants to sell his shares, he can. So it's like a um, different kind of market. It's not like a like a share market. It's like, a, you know, hey, you know, someone need the cash and sells 100 stocks of uh, SpaceX. And unfortunately, it's not traded yet on the on the stock exchange, but maybe a fraction of SpaceX will be sometime in, in a couple of years, Starlink, a project where SpaceX are shooting satellites into orbit that will provide internet to many, 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 many people. And this will be a stock company. So interesting, let's stay tuned. Let's move on. The first big topic is Giga UK and this came from one of our members in the discord chat and this is why I love this one so uh, so much because there's so much exchange to the group um, if you want to know more just go on to the join button below all my videos or live streams um, to enter this close community however you know and I went into it and it seems that it's very much official that the U UK government or part of the government is looking already for a plot for a research and development area and also production facility. Now we know that the UK are not anymore EU. So this means that actually it's a non-EU next to EU giga factory. Okay, <laughs> so I'm quite stunned by that I'm, I'm super much exciting because giga uk will be one of the most important factor for the for the growth of tesla guys this is so important for growth companies out there guys okay if companies are growing and the most important thing is growth okay no profits um really the growth is the most important thing uh, and tesla over the last five years consistently growed 50 percent on average this is insane guys okay deliveries went up um the scale of production went up anything revenue went up you know so it's very very much interesting that this is very important for companies like this that that i'm investing on maybe some of you are or i know that some of you are investing also in other growth companies and growth is so important that i think that okay let me just adjust the sound because it seems that we are not that much synced up and now we should okay so giga giga uk is so important guys because it will be the success for you for for tesla right in in the european union moreover think about it it's also about simplifying the production i have one heard a podcast of Elon musk that showed that, that, that he explained how difficult it is because currently in Fremont they, they are building most of the cars, you know, left-hander, right-hander or right steering, left steering. Then so many different stickers for different languages, then some need uh, adjustments, some uh, cars need some other uh, um, preference and so on. So it's quite interesting to see, you know, that UK will get its own manufacturing, maybe for the right steering wheel version that it's driving, for example, in the UK, obviously, but also in Thailand, for example, okay? Um, and I don't know, maybe you know in other countries as well, but I don't, I, I just know about those two countries. How about Australia? I'm not quite sure. And so, on. so I'm uh, quite interested into that uh, idea that production and further simplification will be applied because this is so important, guys. This will bring the cost down and the scalation, scalation, scalability up, okay? There's a quite interesting story that I know that I would like to share with you guys. When Ford 
started to make the team model, which was, let me, let me uh, pull something out here, guys. In the end, we are in the live stream, so we are in, we're having time, right? You brought some time and you actually are an audiovisual <laughs> live stream. So let me have a look. So this is the T-model. Ford T-model. This was one of the first mass-produced cars ever, guys, okay? And the success about this car was actually that Ford said, you know, how to make it cheaper to get to into hands of more people. So he thought, you know, so the, the cars by then had already a couple of features and he said, you know, some of the features are really nice to have, but not as essential. So he canceled a couple of these features and then he produced this on mass manufacturing and he just offered, for example, one color, which was black. There was no other color. And today you can order the Tesla only in four or five colors because it makes it easier for Tesla, for example, to produce also in batches and make some inventory. So this is so important, guys, to understand why simplification in production really working, guys, okay? And I believe that if you are seeing this, and uh, let me have a look if we see the T-model production line, because it was the very first, as you can see here, you know, the very first production line of cars that was ever invented. And as simple as it was, as easier to produce, you know, look at that, look at this happy faces, guys. Look, uh, looks almost like a Tesla factory here. <laughs> you know, this was so, I think this is, okay, you see, here's like an evolution of how many pieces were were produced and with some interesting comments about this. Here, Ford said, any color is fine as long as it is black. <laughs> so you see how exponential growth over 15 years can happen. And this, I think, can happen to Tesla very much as well. You know, look at this. They produced per year 10,660 cars in 1909 and then by 1923 they produced somewhere around 200,000 cars. 20 times guys, 20 times. This is insane. This is this is the beauty about simplification of production models and the, what Tesla is doing as well. So this was a little bit a small story. I hope you liked it, guys. Let me have a look into the comment before we diving into more of uh, the Tesla stock and the Model Y delivery time, which I would like to discuss with you guys. Um, so let me have a look. So we have people from New York here, Canada, Toronto. Then we have Lisboa, Francisco, also one of our regular here. We have a lot of Tesla fans, a lot of space fans. <laughs> Some Mike, for example, he actually is joking with the space X and space of the ticker symbol of Virgin Galactic. Um, then there is a big question, guys, if Tesla stock because of the huge success of SpaceX will go up. I'm thinking that it probably could because it, it's basically showing like a very much of a positivity of success of Elon Musk, which some people are doubting and they say, you know, if he can bring astronauts up to um, the ISS as the first commercial private company, well, then some electric cars are a piece of cake, isn't it? I'm thinking that it probably could because it's basically showing like a very much... Let me just adjust uh, 
this sound here because we are not sync. So it should be adjusted now. Let me, sorry for that. The streaming equipment is still on the way, guys. I think by maybe end of this week, we will have here high quality streams, guys. So stay definitely tuned and sorry for the technical issues. However, you know, uh, let's have a look what else you guys uh, thought here in the... There are some questions if Tesla stock can reach 1000 in June. And I always like to say anything is possible, guys, right? Let's have a look. Then, what about Giga Dubai? Well, this would be absolutely insane. We have so much opportunity or potential for solar power. Um, I think that it would be absolutely ideal. I think the government would be supportive of it. Even though we have an overall rich oil country, the United Arab Emirates, still the visionary attempt of Dubai and other cities, Abu Dhabi, are so great. By 2025, we want to have 30% of cars on Dubai roads, all electric, guys. So this is like a statement, guys, and will be fulfilled. Dubai really is behind those kind of things. So very futuristic city, guys. Uh, don't think just because we are in the desert um, that we uh, don't know what it's going out. We are very, even we are planning a Mars mission, guys, okay? So, and I'm a German, as you know, uh, living in Dubai since about a couple of years, since almost a decade, guys, now. And um, I, I, I love the German government, you know, I love what they do, but I also think, you know, what the UAE government is doing is so visionary, so, so uh, great and great vision, great execution. You know, they built these huge cities uh, from nothing in just 50 years. Unbelievable, guys. And it's super safe, you know, so it's uh, super interesting. So every now and then when you have a chance to visit Dubai, just do it, guys. Okay, let me have a look. It seems we are still... A little bit off, but it uh, should be now done um let's have a look what else is important on july i think the 7th of july there is the big shareholder meeting for tesla shareholders guys this is also very important also mentioned in my uh vlog today if you're interested into the agenda of this meeting make sure to uh, go after this stream into the Tesla Sundays with this thumbnail on my channel and you will see what it is all about. So it's very interesting, guys. Let me have a look into the comments further. You have so much input, guys. I love that. Make sure always smash all the questions, all your thoughts into the live stream chat so we can have very interesting discussions. Um, So, let's have a look. Tesla will crush it. Absolutely, guys. We have Boston here. Uh, Beyond Meat. The question is, uh, Beyond Meat, if it's uh, still a good buy. Um, not a good buy, but a good buy. <laughs> so, uh, stay tuned. Because tomorrow, you know, if you are if you are subscribed here to this channel, if not, make sure to subscribe. And if you are watching for the subscribe button, it's just below this video. And make sure to smash out the subscribe button and also the bell next to the subscribe button. So you always, when you uh, want and want to have some nice content, then you will be just immediately notified. And therefore, I believe this is a fantastic way. Um, I believe that 
Uh, you know what? I will not say anything about Beyond Meat. We have Tesla Sundays. Tomorrow is Beyond Meat Mondays, as you know. So you have to stay tuned for about maybe 18 more hours. Then I will launch the vlog to Beyond Meat Mondays. And therefore, you will know what to expect. <laughs> um, so people are buying one share on Monday and... That's it, guys. So let's have a look into the stock, guys, because some of you guys are waiting since 25 minutes patiently and saying, you know, when, when he is going into the stock, will it be a bullish week or a bearish week? Let's have a look into the stock, what the stock is telling us, the stock movement. And therefore, I'm going into the chart that we are looking into every week, guys, to just make sure what we said the last week and what it could say for us this week. So let's have a look. And here you see, uh, I do it on Yahoo Finance. So if you don't know and so much about stocks, just go on Yahoo Finance. Here you can uh, look up every chart. And here let's go into Tesla and then we go into full screen. So, and then you see the usual chart is uh, just this blue line and uh, what you see here i put the 200 moving average line this is the average of the last 200 trading days of tesla and then you see the 50 moving average in green and uh, you know those are always quite interesting to see uh, because uh, sometimes it's just an interesting indicator then you see that I put already some channels here. So let's 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 have a look into this channel as you can see here. Since the 4th of December until the 29th of January. So almost one month Tesla stayed exactly in such a channel here like I drew into here. Um, it uh, went up and down the channel and uh, then it broke out then it went to all-time highs here and then all of the current health crisis happened and then as the whole stock market crashed also tesla went down from about this 900 levels here about end of february it went straight down to up to what was it here 361 guys whoever but at 361 congratulations guys let me know in the comments this is uh, quite interesting to know if some of you guys were lucky and then since then we had a very fast recovery and we are now almost back at those all-time highest level yeah and then I have drawn, I think the week last Sunday or the Sunday before this trend line here, as you can see, Tesla is pretty much um, in this channel right now for a couple of months now since mid of March. And as you can see here, I'll try to increase that for you guys. And this is the channel that it's currently in. And uh, what are the risks here? So the risks are if Tesla would leave this channel. Yeah, so like here a little bit anticipated already, but it jumped back. If this is left here from this channel. So if Tesla, Tesla has to actually be at 835 now or it would leave the channel here and then the next possible resistance line would be somewhere here around, what is it? Around 680, 700-ish. This would be a resistance line. As you can see here, it was a kind of resistance where it bounced back one time, it bounced back second time, third time. So this is a kind of resistance here at 700. Then you have also the... 50 day moving average also here around 700 so these are important levels here at 700 now so i'm quite interesting how this will play out next week but uh, then you basically are it's it's all about guys how the current situation with china with the health situation with the riots in the us will 
impact the markets, guys, okay? This is what is happening tomorrow and what is important tomorrow. So make sure to watch this very, very closely, guys, because this will be so important. If this drags Tesla down, then there is there could be a free fall until 700 even over the next week or so. And then we should also see if this line is holding okay this is again depending on the overall market because there is not big news guys usually you we say sell in may and go away this didn't happen the may was pretty good so maybe it was just shifted to june right and if you see this kind of uncertainty into the market then um, i could potentially envision something like this happen but let's see guys you know let's see um with the push forward bullish i think spacex and uh, things like that obviously can help the stock but on the other side you know the overall market the riots the uncertainty can bring the markets down um and this can happen in this area so this is very closely to watch next week guys um if it it's less than 835 then the probability is on the higher side that it could fall until the 700 levels and then if it's break 700 as well yeah um then it can go down further to about the next resistant lines are somewhere around the 500 levels but again you know this kind of movement is guys uh very 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 uh long okay this that doesn't happen in a couple of days uh it's uh, look at this when the la was the last time we was at 700 it was the um what, what what is it here the first of may so one month ago that we reached the 700 or crossed the 700 mark no th that we ju uh, 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 jumped over uh or or went against the 700 mark here and then this happened then about 10 days before that in end or mid mid end of april so you see it's it's taking always a couple of days to reach those levels except obviously we have some kind of uh, rapid uh, crashy environment um, because the stock market just went a couple of um, times uh you know so so it could be that also you know if you are thinking now hey i would like to enjoy tesla i would like to buy tesla then maybe you wait just um you know it's it's possibly you wait but you know i also want to emphasize that it can go also now into the other direction right so we are now in the bottom of this channel here as you can see so we can go here and this is this is it's it's a it's a bearish a little bearish sign that it went out of this but not like you know it closed back into the channel here so it means that uh, that that's that that's that's okay in terms of technical perspective and it could go up obviously right so the next uh, obviously uh, line um, or 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 um, area here would be the 900 levels guys okay so don't get me wrong it can go either direction therefore i don't like that much uh, technical analysis because you know you always <laughs> come to the point that you say hey um it can go in bo both directions but uh, i'm more into the long vision investment theory so i know that in a couple of years tesla will be a thousand one thousand five hundred two thousand three thousand stocks so doesn't really matter if you buy at 835 or at 900 or a thousand i don't think so right so that's that's it and if you want to day trade then i'm not the right guy to explain you where to exactly buy and and uh and I'm I'm very much uh, <laughs> known that uh, also nobody other can tell you exactly when is the perfect time to buy, right? So let's have a look um, what else was important. And therefore we go quickly to the Tesla website because there is something um, maybe a little bit concerning out there. Um, if we are going into the Model Y, and let me see if I I need to change to United States because this is the only country now ex 
that it's available, I think. Um, maybe Europe as well. I'm not quite sure, but I th know obviously that it's in the US. And now if you are putting together your model Y, then you're choosing all the specs, then you go further. And then actually you see here that the delivery is four to eight weeks. That's quite that's quite fast it was eight to 12 weeks prior okay um therefore i believe that is quite interesting to see because this means either there is they gone through a lot of backlogs orders already and are waiting now until the orders are getting fulfilled and everything or they have some productions issues but you know as shorter the period is as you know worse is the sign because you are not waiting so much on your tesla or don't have to wait for you for the tesla so much so this means that maybe the demand is not so well right just in suggestion here um let's have a look also i want to just compare that with the model 3 here on Tesla in terms of the delivery time. So if you're going now to the Model 3 and you make a custom order, then your est estimated delivery is here three to five weeks. And obviously you have some inventory as well. Uh, that's totally normal. Then I wanted to see what's the Model X should be similar or faster than that two to five weeks so as you can see a little bit faster and the model s is three to five weeks so you can see the s x and model 3 is quite faster or much faster than the model y at the moment and I believe that this is quite interesting always to see, you know, what is currently going on into the delivery process and delivery time, because from there you can see a little bit how it's going on with those orders. Now, let me have a look into the chat. And see what you guys are thinking. Um, so so Titan is saying thank you very much for your videos time and great news thank you guys for watching I highly appreciate this as always you know we grow this community so far and it's just the microscopic beginning, guys. As you know, our vision and mission here is to build the biggest stock investing channel in YouTube worldwide, guys. And you are on the train. You are early here, guys. So we are going lud ludicrous mode to the number one youtube channel okay so never forget that and building and having so much fun and building let me just adjust uh, the sound here and it should be back sync again um what else do we have So there's people thinking that the market will go sideways from here. That's obviously also possible until they wait until the vaccine is there, right? The, the stock market can go sideways. This is also obviously in a interesting move. So what else we have here? I think that's pretty much it from the overall questions. 
and we are sync again. So I think that's, let me have a look into my agenda if I had some other uh, topics as well that to discuss here in this live stream. So we had the, oh, there's an update also guys on the Gigafactory guys. So this is also important to know that currently in Germany, let me just pull it out so we can watch it together. Gigafactory Germany, because this is also important to see that there is the foundation now being built in Germany. So I can see Let me just have a look. That's obviously on YouTube. Just bear with me. I know you say out there. Ain't nobody got time for that. But bear with me, guys. <laughs> um, So let me see, Gigafactory Germany. Um, there is a guy here on YouTube who, I think it's this guy. So this guy is quite interesting. Uh, I don't know if it's this guy. Let me have a look. I don't know if it's, ah, it's this guy. Here we go, Tesla Kit Greenheide. So this guy actually was, well, here, here we go. So this guy actually was asked by the government to stop flying without permission his drone over the area of the next Giga factory. But then what happened was he got an approval by Elon Musk himself, guys. Okay. And uh, his latest video is the following four days ago. Let me just. And uh, he makes basically videos here about the Giga Berlin and flying over the area to show us the latest stage. And as you can see, now they're starting with the foundation. And um, let me just show you here. He's always flying over the whole area. As you can see, there's the removed forest that actually, you know, for each forest, I think, Elon Musk will plant a new piece of forest somewhere else. So, and also this is a artificial forest. It was planted for the production of, I think it was cartoon boxes. Yeah. And then as you can see some action going on for some of the Tesla fans, they will say, you know, why they are so less. Here actually you see, you know, those are, must be the foundation pillars to have the strongest sections of the whole construction. I'm not the construction, uh, um, how you say it, um, expert, but you know, you know a thing or two if you know about Dubai where they're constructing a single tower every new week. <laughs> so you can see that lots of going on and uh, it's always interesting to see there was also a drone pilot in the in, in China during the whole China process. So I'm quite interesting. And if you think about it, the overall project is not that that difficult, right? In the end, they are flat in the area. They're making some kind of foundation. They put a, a basically production hall in it and then they put some machinery in it, right? And then they go. So there's no big underground uh, or tunnel work to be done. 
So I think that's quite interesting. Um, make sure guys to thumb up and subscribe this guy if you are interested here subscribe and obviously subscribe to my channel if you are new here um, but I think this is always interesting to see um, and this is something that you can follow by yourself on YouTube and don't forget to smash over to my other where it is here it is this thumbnail is showing you the way to the Tesla Sunday's episode. Very, very interesting, guys. If you are into Tesla, thank you very much for stu uh, tuning in. Thumb up. This is highly appreciated. And I see you obviously tomorrow. And we shall see how the market will open. I will definitely be directly tomorrow morning here with some breaking news. Thank you very much for watching. And I see you in a couple of hours. Stay tuned.